Afra says, my question is regarding making up for prayers. I work at night from 11 to 7 a.m., from 11 p.m. till 7 a.m. And by the time I wake up at 5 p.m., I miss Dhuhr, Asr, and Maghrib prayer. How do I make up for these prayers? Should I pray them immediately when I wake up, one prayer at a time, or do I pray them as I normally would just uh, uh, three prayers in a row after completing each one. So, first of all, Afra, your name tells me that you are a woman. And for a woman to work night shift, or they call it the graveyard shift, is inappropriate. This endangers your safety, your health, and your marriage, if you are married, it's not normal for a woman to spend the night outside, even if it was for work. Now, I'm speaking in general terms. A woman should not work outside at that time, let alone work in a mixed environment, let alone it's unsafe for her to commute or travel from her home to the workplace, uh, etc. But this is something you have to consider and to think about. As far as sleeping, if you finish work at 7 a.m., by the time you reach home, it's 8 o'clock, maybe have breakfast and go to sleep. You are one of two persons, either you are totally dead and you set the alarm, you ask people in the house to wake you up for Dhuhr, for Asr and for Maghrib uh, and there's no use. You're totally dead. You don't hear anything. You're disconnected from the whole world. In this case, Allah does not hold you accountable because I've, as mentioned, in the hadith, Allah has uplifted the pen of accountability upon three, among them the person who's asleep until he wakes up. You're unconscious. People try to wake you up, you set two, three alarms, and it does not work because you're dead tired, then there is no accountability upon you. What to do? The moment you wake up, which is 5 o'clock p.m., you have to pray dhuhr for rak'ahs, asr for rak'ahs, maghrib three rak'ahs immediately. You do not, as people, some people do, postpone dhuhr for next day's dhuhr, pray them together, double, for rak'ah, for rak'ah, and asr the same, and maghrib the same. No, you must immediately pray them in sequence, dhuhr, then asr, then maghrib. But if you are from the second category, which is, you can wake up and People can wake you up easily. And you can wake up if you set the alarm, but you don't. In this case, you should not pray neither Dhuhr, Asr, nor Maghrib. If, Maghrib, if Isha prayer was called. Because you deliberately skipped the prayer. You intentionally skipped the prayer and it was premeditated that you go to sleep and not wake up until it's five o'clock which is a serious major sin. So I hope this answers your question.